Hey guys, so today, so today I have a updated vanity tour. Well, my last one I did, oh. <laughs> so the last one I did was like two years ago, so I feel like I should give an updated one. I've gotten a lot more stuff. The outside's a little different, the inside's a little different, so it's more just to show how I organize everything in my drawers. It's really hard to organize makeup in like a good way. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into the tour, right? Are you ready? Okay, so here is the vanity in all of its glory. And there's me in my... I'm dressed like a homeless person today, but look at my pants. Look at these things, do you see? Aren't these cool? I got these for Christmas. I don't know like, why my mom bought me these, but Grinch joggers. All right, I wanted to take my chair out and show you the entire thing. So it's not all attached. These drawers are from Ikea. They're the nine drawers. I'll link them down below. You've probably seen them. It's like a very popular way to store makeup. And then I got this tabletop custom made from either Menards or Lowe's. If you just go in their kitchen section, this is like fake marble. It's not real. I mean, you can get real marble if you wanted, but um it's just fake marble and you just put and i just placed it on top of these drawers ikea does sell like a top for it but it's like a plain white top so i thought this looked a little nicer and it's super cheap it was probably like 150 bucks just for the tabletop you just give them your measurements i like rounded out the front of it but you can just do whatever you want and then this mirror is from impressions vanity now looking back on this decision um it's a really big mirror like it's freaking huge it takes up like more than half of this and this is a really big so looking back i probably would get the smaller one but i stuck with this one for now so it is what it is i still like it i mean it's, it's huge these are things are really expensive but they're really good quality and they last a long time so it's cool it has this little like ledge that i keep my stuff on and then on the side, you turn on the lights and voila, there you go. Pretty cool. And then on the other side of it is, um, there's plugs on one side of it. So it's a really cool mirror if you're into these type of mirrors. I know a lot of people can like make their own since these are very expensive. So that is the vanity and I'm going to show you what I keep on top of it so start off at the top of the mirror so I keep just this lipstick holder it has a ton of lipsticks on it and then on the side are these two like cup holders I got these from Target so one just holds my lip liners the other one is like overflowing with mini lipsticks or like mini lip products yeah, so there's a bunch of lip products right there. And then um, I like to keep these like picture cards sometimes. This is from Desi. And then I have another one from Lunar Beauty. But, like, I don't know. I just like to keep them up here. Yeah, this little guy here. I saw this from my old job. Okay, that's that. These are just some cannabis gummies. I guess, I mean, I can give them some promo. They're from the brand Wild. They're just like weed gummies. And then over here, I just have like a beauty sponge and some random, random things. So that's on top of this, this mirror. Oh, I also have another card up here. I loved this collection from Mouse Cosmetics and I loved this card. I love this eyeshadow look i've been meaning to recreate it but yeah like i said i like to keep the cards oh shit and then we go to the right side of my vanity and i have some more lip products this is like lip glosses some of my favorite ones some oh my god these have like dust on the top of them um pat mcgrath what are these? Artist Couture, some Fenty, Tower 28, 
M Cosmetics. Just this is like a smaller little component. So usually with this one, since like right on my desk, I will kind of interchange like any new lip products I get. I'll switch them out, but for now, I have some Charlotte Tilbury, some Mac ones, um, Lunar Beauty glosses. I'm obsessed with those. Uh, Patrick Ta, Bobby Brown, some Pat McGrath, Sephora collection. Okay, so next up, these are probably my favorite things ever. So these are, there's just these little like, I don't know what you want to call them, pencil cases. They can hold anything. And I got these from CB2. They unfortunately don't have them available anymore. I got them like two years ago. Yeah, I love CB2. They have a lot of cute stuff like office decoration stuff. So that's where I keep all of, I have three of them. That's where I keep all of my makeup brushes. Then in here, this just little like coffee mug. I have hair brushes, box cutter, <laughs> tweezers, random things. And then here, I have it in this little uh, tray, I guess you'd call. I have a ton of these like cool looking trays. I have one for like my perfume. I have one in my bathroom. I usually get them from Home Goods in their bathroom section. They always have like a bunch and they're a really good price. Um, and I just keep like random things like dry shampoo, some like face setting sprays, the Tatcha one, um, just random miscellaneous things. So that's the top of my vanity. I'll show one more thing on the outside of my vanity. So this. I used to have this on my wall and then I decided to put it on the side of my vanity just because it kind of hides it better. So these are all my like dangly, dainty jewelry or like dainty necklaces. And you get this, it's like a little plastic holder from Amazon and it just sticks onto any surface. And I just keep all of my little necklaces. So yeah, if you just like want to avoid clutter and I don't like to keep, I used to just keep my necklaces in like boxes but they would get super tangled. Now let's get into the drawers. I don't have these in any specific order. So these are the smaller size and these are the bigger sized. So at first being like, I'm a pretty organized person. I wanted to do it based off of the order of how I do my face, but it just didn't make sense because I would be, do I put like my foundations in the first drawer and they just wouldn't fit because they're really big and that's like the smaller drawer. So I kind of just placed my products in the drawers where they would best fit. So it's not in like any specific order. This first drawer is the highlighter drawer. The one thing I will complain, and this is like the main complaint you get with these Ikea drawers, are that they don't come out all the way. So as you can see, there's like some room back there. Shove some things back there, but usually the more important things I keep in the front. And all these containers... You could get from Amazon, the Container Store, Home Goods, Target. I mean, they have them everywhere. So if you have a lot of like single components, these are really good for that because they kind of keep them separate. I have some Becca, um, Lunar Beauty, Dior, ColourPop, Wet n Wild single highlighters. Then I have some palettes. So I have the Jaclyn Hill. This is actually a single highlighter, but it's freaking huge from Marc Jacobs. I'm like obsessed with this one. This is um, worth the wait. Look at how big the highlighter is. It's the best. And then I have some liquid highlighters. Charlotte Tilbury. This is like my favorite one of all time. Another Charlotte Tilbury, but this is the flawless filter. So it's a little like less intense. This is Becca shimmer skin perfector is really good too and then these are more single i have some palettes the dior highlighter palette is the best um some amrezy abh uh a little milani palette this is also really good jacqueline hill loose highlighter so that is my highlighter drawer Next drawer. Next drawer is the blush and bronzer drawer. I have some palettes in this drawer. I have my M Cosmetics liquid blushes, liquid serum blushes. Lunar Beauty, some nude sticks. They come in these like huge cases. I like them, but they also take up a lot of room. 
And then I have another one of these like single container holders. So I have blushes and some bronzers, the Fenty bronzer, a MAC, BH Cosmetics. Here I have some like little palettes. I love this one, the Benefit Cheek Leaders palette. And then this thing, this is a big like holder. So it kind of goes, I mean, you're not gonna be able to see what's in the back. But these are, I have some Patrick Ta blushes, NARS, um, some Hourglass blushes, and then Cover FX blushes. I have a lot of blushes, I didn't realize. MAC blushes, and then here's Fenty Cream Blush, M Cosmetics. Then I have this Natasha Denona Tan Bronze palette, and then an Hourglass Ambient Lighting palette. Some wet and wild, the Chanel bronzer, so just a bunch of stuff in this drawer. But that is the blush bronzer drawer. Next is my face products. So I have concealers, cream, contouring products. I'm like obsessed with these LA Girl concealers, as you can tell. I have a bunch of them. Charlotte Tilbury. Um, like bronzer stick is really good. I have a ton of concealers, <laughs> like a lot of them. But I love this Josie Moran one, Coarse Tarte Shape Tape, Becca Aqua Luminous. I don't know if they're discontinuing that one. I hope not, because it's bomb. Cover FX Power Play Concealer, ColourPop, Pretty Fresh. This is a new favorite of mine. And I have a lot of sample stuff here too. I've just. I get a lot of like sample, like whenever I place a Sephora order, I always, you know, opt to get some samples because why not? So I have a bunch of like foundation and face product samples. So that's what you can see here. I just need to use them. Um, then I have powders here. So Cody Airspun, the Jeffree Star powder, Laura Mercier. I have the Maybelline powder back there, the Fit Me powder. Um, and then back here we have primers. So Dior primer, no pore blum primer. I love that one. Um, this is another good one. Revlon photo ready primer. I haven't found a primer that I'm absolutely like obsessed with. So I have a lot of mini primers, like an hourglass mini. This is that Tarte like putty primer. It's a mini as well. In the back corner I have some setting sprays, but so that is that drawer. Next up is my foundation drawer plus some miscellaneous items. So in the back, I just have like a brush roll back there. It doesn't really matter. Um, and these are all my foundations. Standing, I have them all like standing up. So I have three of these Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I don't know why I have so many. The Too Faced more in this way, of course. So I have a bunch of like L'Oreal ones, um, like L'Oreal foundations. Maybelline foundations, the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a new favorite of mine. Maybelline Dream Urban Cover SPF 50. This is a great, ooh, great foundation. Mostly drugstore foundations, actually, because I'm cheap. Then I have some makeup wipes. I don't use these on my face. I use them if I'm like swatching something. Sometimes I'll even use these to like wipe down my makeup desk after I'm done like filming a video. And then I have a, my bigger eyeshadow palettes right here. The ColourPop Bare Necessities, BH Opalescent, great palette. The Tati, Tati Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I have um, some Makeup Geek and some ColourPop single eyeshadows and then I have the Jaclyn Hill um this is a volume two palette and this last drawer is all eyeshadow palettes so starting at the back here I have single eyeshadows so I have some like MAC Victoria Beckham single eyeshadow Kaja I have like a Natasha Denona Tom Ford some of these Stila liquid eyeshadows so then back here, I have all my Anastasia eyeshadow palettes, plus my naked ones. I'm keeping them because I feel like I just have to. They're just like nostalgic, you know? So I have the Amrezy, Modern Renaissance, Sultry, Soft Glam, the Carly Bible. I just kind of shoved that there. This is another 
collection of eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> These are all like stacked up. Um, I have some Pat McGrath, ColourPop, Huda Beauty. This is the OG Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. I think it's old as hell. Um, Dose of Colors, Frenication. It's a Too Faced palette, KKW Beauty. This is the Mario palette. And I have some smaller ones. I have this M Cosmetics, small little eyeshadow palette. And then I have these little Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes just kind of like shoved in here. And then I have some Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I have some more palettes stacked. Everything's just stacked up. Um, some of these aren't eyeshadows palettes. I have the Natasha Denona. This is an Anastasia Cream. Kat Von D Shade and Light, Pat McGrath Bronze, Melt Cosmetics, um, and I have some smaller palettes like Jeffree Star, Mini Controversy, um, ColourPop, Kathleen Light's Dream Street, ColourPop Going Coconuts, Tarte, Man Eater Palette, what is this, oh, Huda Beauty Gold eyeshadow palette. So that's my eyeshadow drawer, just jam packed <laughs> gotta work with what you got i guess on to the next set of five drawers this first drawer here is mascara liners and brow products so i have all my brow pencils i usually just use like small brow pencils the benefit precisely my brow is my favorite um also anastasia brow Wiz. I have a bunch of like brow gels too. This is from, from Tarte. This is the Patrick Ta tinted brow gel. So I have a bunch of mascaras. Um, some of my favorites are Maybelline, Lash Sensational, L'Oreal Butterfly, the MAC Extended Play, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, Pam McGrath Mini One, Telescopic, I have an extra one. Of course, that's my favorite. And then I have some liquid liners, some pencil ones. So yeah, that is that drawer. And next we have the lip drawer plus some lighters for my candles. But so I have these two containers to hold lip products. I have a lot of lip products. I'm like obsessed with them. Um, so here I have some drugstore lip products, some NYX. ColourPop. I don't know. This is a mess. This is disgusting. What the hell? Then I have some drugstore lipsticks, some Rimmel, ColourPop. This isn't really a drugstore. This is Melt Cosmetics Lip Balm. And then I have some lipsticks, more expensive ones. Well, these are like lip balms. Some lip balms. Victoria Beckham, Too Faced. Uh, tart. You get it. And back here I have the infamous Jacqueline Hill lipsticks. The hairy lipsticks. All in their glory. I did not get rid of them. It's embarrassing to say I use them sometimes. <laughs> I know, I guess we did get our money back. But I just, I still use them sometimes. I don't, some, mine aren't that bad. I don't, I didn't find like hairs in mine. So, you know, use at your own risk. Um, these are ones that I don't use too often. I have some Jeffree Star back here. I just am not a big fan of, like, liquid lipsticks, so I don't use his that often. I do sometimes, but I'm not reaching for them, like, that much. Then I have a bunch of random lipsticks in here. Some NYX, Kat Von D, classic. And then I have lip glosses in here. Some Melt, Dose of Colors, Fenty some more Fenty back there and then my lighters <laughs> the next drawer is oh this is like office supplies I guess I'll go through really quickly and some okay so like two or like three years ago I bought one of these it was like a Christmas holiday set NYX had all their soft matte lip creams they're all like they're all mini versions in a set so I bought the whole set it was on sale for like 30 bucks and I just have a ton of them so that's why I have a bunch of them everywhere and I just keep office supplies in here so this was from like college but I feel like I don't know, I'm always like writing stuff down and 
so i have a bunch of these all right i guess i'll just like say these the pilot these are the best gel pens ever they're expensive but they're worth it like 100 percent um some scissors some post-it notes you know random stuff and then i have more miscellaneous things i have like my like nail so nail file stuff in here i have this i don't know why i have this but i do piercing stuff belly piercing stuff nose piercing stuff and then underneath here i have all of my black and blue pens of course oh does anyone remember oh my god this is so funny does anyone remember Kirill? he used to those parties at clubs and he would like just pour champagne on girls <laughs> so funny um i went to one and i have a sticker so that's my little souvenir next drawer is another jam full oh. so this is lash drawer and extra skincare drawer so and behind that is some jewelry boxes so we don't have to worry about that here are all my fake lashes got some lily lashes some glue anastasia lashes house of lashes um i mainly use these are like expensive ones i mainly use ardell like that's what i go for i just have all these because i i don't I haven't been wearing fake eyelashes because i'm not doing anything i've got the classic individuals from Ardell. those are great a pain to put on but they're great um more individual just lash glue just all the lash stuff you could ever want and i have some extra skincare maybe some backups some new stuff that i want to try out the ordinary inky list polish choice some drunk elephant samples and the last drawer this is all new makeup so i put stuff in here that i've recently bought that i want to like use in a video i did a video swatching all these lip products i just need to i didn't need to find out where to put them because i have no room <laughs> for them so they're just chilling down here i have more lip products and this is new stuff i want to use in videos more new stuff i haven't tried out this anastasia beverly hills mascara yet cover effects power play natasha denona gold eyeshadow palette i want to use in videos so so yeah this drawer is dedicated to just like new stuff that i want to try out so that's my vanity um i'll link some of the stuff in the description box just like the ikea drawers and the mirror and some of the other small things that i can find but otherwise it's just makeup and just those little containers like i said you can find at like target home goods has cheap ones can you can find them at the container store but they're kind of expensive at the container store so i would stick to like amazon target um home goods yeah i feel like i said everything yeah so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye